<laughs> hey, we're a bar band. Have some respect, man. Here with the vocalist and the bass player for what a light. Or the, I think you're yeah, the, mm. no, the camera's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> the vocalist and the bass player, Angela and Haskell, with a lake, and these guys are like several people in the upstate music area. They're married okay. um, to each other. Hi, I'm Julie from Second Nature. Hey, I'm Biff. And what instruments do you guys play for Second Nature? I play guitar and sing. Mainly guitar. And you and guys sing. are married, right? right. Exactly. Kind of similar. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, who are you? Clementine Smith. What's the name of your band? Streeting September. What do you play? I play my pipes. My throat's my instrument. Oh, yeah. sorry. Are you fine? I can answer, man. Sorry. Uh, uh, my name is Patrick Smith. What's the name of your band? Uh, Streeting September. Which involves that? You two guys are married, right? Yes. And how long have you been married? Eight years. Favorite local band. What I like. Thank you, man. Um, to each other. Uh, and I think happily. Is it happily yes or no? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, you have to. She's here. But uh, now one thing I want to talk about, I want to cover with anybody that is anything with music, is it, when you guys are playing, you're the most popular person in the room, um, no matter where you're at. And most people couldn't tell you're married unless you're making out on stage or something. And people's going to flirt with you. People's going to flirt with you. And I'll start with you. How does that make you feel? I mean, I know, I know it's got to make you feel bad, but you've got to deal with it. How do you deal with it? I mean, I know that we got a show to put on, so it's no big deal. I mean, I know where he's going. He's coming home with me. That, you. That's pretty much it. It's part of the business. You just kind of play the part and then go home. <laughs> so when you're sitting there, some guy comes up and requests a song and looking everywhere and hey slipping her a hundred dollar bill on a phone number that doesn't get you mad Absolutely. no I, I, that's a hundred dollar bill damn it <laughs> see <laughs> smart <laughs> you're a bass player right yes what's two plus two five something like that. he's a bass player <laughs> <laughs> how did the bass player get the girl well, I got the girl before I became a bass player, so that's the loophole. You gotta, you gotta get the girl first, then you get, then you stick her with a bass player. After he, after he started playing bass, <laughs> why didn't you divorce him? <laughs> we weren't married yet. So you married the bass player. I did marry the bass player. <laughs> um, do you remember those old commercials back in the nineties? Uh, if you don't get help at Charter, get help somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to make fun of the bass player. But have y'all had any incidents like somebody, uh, y'all mentioned one before, you had to escort somebody off the stage. I'll let you tell how it's set up. I'll let him tell how it ends. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a chick got on stage. Yeah, she she locked eyes with him, and that was, that. that's, that's yeah, lock eyes, and she decided she wanted to come on stage. And, uh, What'd she do? <laughs> she was politely escorted off stage. Did she? What, what did the girl do? I mean, she just walked up on stage. She probably, she, yeah, she probably forgot she even did it five minutes later. You know, it was one of those. Uh, alcohol. Yes, very much. Yeah. Copious I, amounts of alcohol. I barely remember this night. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. there was alcohol going around. Now, one of Kelly's favorites. <laughs> do you sing a lot? At, or Does she sing a lot at home? No, you almost never hear it. Almost never hear sing. Does he play a lot? Does he practice at home? Oh yeah. So you're not doing what you're supposed to. <laughs> Technically no. So when you're driving somewhere, do you do you sing at least? Practice that I way do. when you're by yourself, I like I do. When I'm by myself, I do. Sometimes I'll kind of do it quietly in the shower. So yeah. <laughs> now y'all, like I said, how long have you guys been married? Since 2020. November 2020. Since, since the I pandemic. Do I don't do math in my head. So, that, yeah, exactly. Well, you're a bass player. You oh, can't do math. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I love bass. I own several basses. I can make fun of him because I'm one of him. I like that. I can make fun of him because I'm one of him. That, right. That's, that's right. cool. That's how it works. But uh, there's several married couples in the upstate. It's just reading September, Second Nature. Uh, and 
there's a couple, I mean, like Eric, your guitar player, he's got his girlfriend out there tonight. And one thing I want to focus on is relationships and, and music. What's the, the worst thing about being married to each other and being in a band? What's the worst thing, to be honest, besides him being a bass player? Um, probably if we mess up, we mess up. And this is. Well, it's you his fault if anybody messes up. You can't be mad at anybody because. <laughs> Our fault. So. <laughs> so what's the worst thing? This. Oh, you're talking about the R is like a group, like the two of y'all together would be. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think the hardest thing is not a lot of time to do anything else but go to work and then, well, go to work, go play music, and then go to bed and get up and rinse and repeat. So there's not a lot of time to do shit we want to do, but that comes with the biz. That comes with the territory too. Uh, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when are y'all here again? Y'all know? I don't. Okay. Uh, now you guys are on Facebook? Yes. Instagram? Yes. Whatever YouTube? Like uh, that was coming to that. <laughs> uh, um, we favorite met. local band? Uh, uh, that's a tough one. There's so many good ones. Uh, just a couple of that have impressed me recently. Uh, have to be Red Card Riot and uh, Streeting September. Okay. Well, thank you, man. We started dating. Oh, okay. That's the month we met. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. November there you was go. when we started dating. My bad. Yeah, it was well, September was when we met. So. On to the next question, which involves that. You two guys are married, right? Yes, sir. And how long have you been married? Eight years. Wow. Um, and now, did you? How did you guys meet? You want that? Yeah, I'll take that one. So, <laughs> I was in a karaoke competition actually uh, back at what used to be Rivals, and uh, went through three rounds, I think, and. I placed first, so I made it to these finals that were going to be held at what used to be the handlebar. And for the final, final round, um, I, well, they strongly suggested or recommended, it wasn't required, that you have live musical accompaniment. I don't play any instruments. So I called up a good friend of mine and I said, hey, can you help me? He's a DJ. And he said, Clem, I know way too many musicians. I don't even know where to start. So he, he said, I'm just going to pull my phone out and just scroll. And whatever name it lands on, I'm going to call that musician. And it was Patrick. So, so he won the lottery. He, I, I, I don't know. I, I think he got pretty unlucky with that. But but he did that competition for me uh, four nights later. Yep. We, and, we had to do one song. And then I was so impressed by her vocals and her control and just the way we could harmonize together with not even knowing each other that uh, we started doing acoustic solo gigs at places like the Howlin' Wolf and like GG's and little things like that. And then it wasn't long, two months later, it was November 1st, uh, I asked her to be my girlfriend and uh, we started dating then. And then two years later, two and a half years later, we got engaged and then we were married that following year. So. Awesome. And you got, you don't have any kids, right? We do not. No. But you have snakes. Yes. We have scaly babies, yeah. Now, who are they? Uh, my snake is, his name is Cobain Maynard Smith, after two of my favorite musicians. I have a blood red albino corn snake. And then Copper is, is kind of mine. I mean, they're both ours, of course, but uh, he's a ball python. A now, pastel. When, when you guys get home after a gig, if he, if he bends out of tune or, or messes up, do you, is there like, do I need to like alert somebody or? Well, you know? <laughs> it's such a habit of his that it kind of goes unnoticed now. That he's always <laughs> playing like the wrong chords. I'm just kidding. No, um, there is something that I do though. Like when we're playing, if he makes a mistake with lyrics or pretty much anything, I give him this death stare out of my peripheral. And he automatically feels it and knows, oh, God, I've done something wrong. And then he snaps back into it. He waits till later on to tell me what I messed up. So it's actually <laughs> you work better together since you're married and you're kind of around. I think so. Right? Yeah, it's okay. been. It's it very liberating. It hasn't really had any drawbacks. I mean, to be honest, that's we don't really fight or argue about really anything. But the only time we might butt heads is on the professional side of things. Well, and, that, and that's about it. But it's it's pretty fluid. I'm going to ask. Only I helped out the street in September. I'm kind of partial to them. I oh, yeah, those guys. Really Clementine has a great voice. Yeah, she's a beautiful singer. Great we love singer. we love them, too. And they're, they're, they're good people. I've, I've known them for a while. Yep. And you guys are married. Just like them, you guys are married, right? right. Exactly. Kind of similar. Okay. <laughs> Just a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how does that play into it? Did you? I mean, just I'm going to ask, how long have you been married? 
we've been together I hate to even say this because it makes me seem old, but we've been together 37 years. We've been married 27. And y'all been playing music pretty much the whole time. Did y'all meet through music? Yes. We did. We met at a musician's Christmas party, and uh, she was playing in a touring. She was touring New York with a, with a uh, I don't know, what a 70s, 80s band. Yeah. And uh, I was playing in a couple other bands, and yeah, I saw her up there in spandex pants and a crazy haircut. <laughs> So maybe I should go talk to her. <laughs> and you guys are originally from New York, right? Northern New York. Okay, the accent. <laughs> and That's Canada, by golly. Right <laughs> <laughs> and I have one, the last question I'm going to ask you is, when you make a mistake, and since you're married, how does it become his fault? And what's the most creative <laughs> way you've done that? Because I know that happens. I'm married on my third. Yeah. Okay. Well, um... I make all the mistakes. <laughs> well, that's yeah. a first. <laughs> he, he rarely he does once in a while, but I make most of the mistakes, and he just lets me know. And <laughs> and uh, usually at practice the next day. Yeah. Usually he he helps me to correct them. <laughs> And speaking of it, do you guys practice weekly together? I mean, you're. We I mean, that's, yes, we do. Yeah, you know, in our little studio a lot. So y'all trying to keep things together. That that's actually convenient if you're you know you're a duo and you're married and yeah. yeah let's go practice. <laughs> yeah, well we learn new songs constantly, so we are practicing weekly. Yeah. <laughs>